Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be reacting to Geek Love. Now I've seen a few things about it. I heard it was hilarious, so I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. Greetings, Earthlings, and welcome to our universe. Yo, some of you guys be sleeping on Comic Cons. There be some baddies at Comic Cons, I'll tell you that right now. Important for geeks and nerds to be able to find love just like it's important for everybody else. As someone who's explored that territory, people in that territory are often uh, weird. <laughs> You're 13. Yes. Inches. It's a no. <laughs> Around. He wishes. <laughs> Actually, no. I feel like 13 is too much. Me personally, <laughs> I don't kiss and tell. But 13 is too much. My love life status is a mix of forever alone and socially awkward penguin. It's meme tastic. Okay. How old is this video? 10 years. Okay. I'll let it slide because that was cringe. I'm also brony. There's your problem right there. Okay, this is uh, Pinkie Pie. She likes to party. Listen, you're free to like what you like, but some things are better behind closed doors. <laughs> some things are better behind closed doors. So you essentially want my non-evil twin. <sighs> this is pretty bad. <laughs> You basically shot your shot, and she said no, basically. And then she's like, well, you can go ahead and find something else. You can find my evil twin. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. That's a little creepy, Alex. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, well. So laugh, bro. That's not good. <laughs> that's not good. If you get an insult, you're supposed to correct yourself immediately. Dude. Oh. Backtrack a few steps, right? Fix what you did wrong. Some of my challenges with girls are just the girls that I really do like, that I'm really interested in. I just want to be friends. <laughs> You're a brony, bro. I was going to throw it out there. You know, that's not really desirable, all right? <laughs> it's going to be honest. From a, uh, a societal standpoint, if we will, it's not really desirable, bro. Based on the interaction I see right here, you're lucky that you even have female friends, <laughs> bro. What kind of questions are you gonna ask? Who's your favorite pony? Oh my God. Bro, they are playing with you. Oh my God, are you a brony? Oh yes, I am. Oh my God. You know that's up there with MMOers, right? No, it's not. Okay, I'd rather associate with somebody who's playing World of Warcraft than a brony, but that's just me. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. You're right, it's worse. <laughs> God. I like ponies. That's cool. I like my little pony too. <laughs> That'd be perfect, wouldn't it? Ah, the reality is often disappointing. What's great about geek love is you could be yourself. Ladies, do not use this as an exercise to perfect your friend zoning technique. The friend zone sucks. The friend zone. It's basically the I don't like you zone. <laughs> it would be great if I could find the perfect match, someone I like, someone who likes me maybe. I wonder if this guy's got a girl now, because this was 10 years ago, right? What's the weirdest museum you've been to? The sex museum. Our fandom doesn't, you know, sexually funny, Kirby shirt on, uh, but I want you inside me. Anyways. <laughs> Have you played Journey on PS3? PS3, what is this? Ancient Greece? <laughs> it was very fun talking with her, you know. I felt very comfortable with her. Oh, was really nice. Hopefully you get her, man. However, don't put all your eggs in one basket, you know what I mean? Some of you are gonna get no numbers. It happens. I apologize in advance. Just means it wasn't a session for you. I wonder how long they had with each individual. He said three minutes, right? So, I don't know how many people he talked to, but. Uh, it's really hard to pick. I like so many of them. <laughs> well. Uh, Ladies, do you have your perfect match in sight? Yes. Okay, tracking on their hormonal signals. Bro, chill. <laughs> hormonal signals. God. If you do not have a perfect match, it's okay. Quickly. Oh, man, dude. You didn't even talk about your ponies too much. I'm sorry. Hey, it happens, man. Like I said, it's a part of life, dog. Quickly! Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! Dude, I'm a <laughs> you had to be convinced that you weren't gonna get anything. I was actually surprised it was, you know, someone who I actually liked, so she had red hair, which is cool. Man, bro, you really had me going. There's like one 32-year-old that still lives with his mom. I was like, no. 
I kind of live with my folks still. Yeah, you know? but I, I don't know. But I feel like, like in the college. 20s, it's okay. Because yeah, no. especially the economy sucks. <laughs> that didn't age well. <laughs> <laughs> you want to meet up sometime after this? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, but I've got a little bit of time right now if you want to yeah, keep we chatting. Could, I could, we could walk around, uh, you know. Yeah. Got, it can walk you back to your booth as well. If you need okay, <laughs> cool. Thanks. I mean, it's like, you can do it yourself, of course. But you <laughs> She already said yes. There's no need to continue, bro. There's no need to continue. There's no need to continue. Take a deep breath, bro. Just take a deep breath. What happened after speed dating was that after talking to Kate, basically on camera, uh, cameras were off, and we walked away, and what happened was that basically uh, she told me after about a minute, basically that she just wanted to be friends. Yikes, bro. Hey, like I said, bro, it happens. <laughs> Focus on yourself, get your money up, get out of your parents' house. Of course, I'm talking to a 10 years ago version of you. Anyway, guys, that's it for the end of the video. I tried looking him up. I couldn't find anything on him. So I hope he's well. Hey, I hope you got out of your parents' house, bro. Get some roommates or something. Maybe you find someone that likes your hobby. Hey, catch you guys next time.